Welcome to Buckeye Turf Podcast. The topic of this podcast is Summer Patch. My name is Carl Dannenberger, Professor of Turfgrass Science at The Ohio State University. The Summer Patch pathogen is Magnaporthy poeae, and it attacks the root systems of turf grasses, primarily poa species, like Kentucky bluegrass and annual bluegrass. This disease is generally not considered to be a problem on perennial ryegrass or creeping bent grass unless extreme summer stress conditions occur. A serious disease of Kentucky bluegrass shown here in this golf course rough. This podcast, however, will focus on summer patch injury to annual bluegrass, or as it's known by its botanical name, Poa annua. Summer patch symptoms appear in late summer with the arrival of hot, dry weather. Normally, temperatures exceed 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day, with warm nighttime temperatures above 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The severity of this disease increases if a wet period immediately precedes the hot, dry conditions. Summer patch symptoms appear as irregular shaped patches, rings, or crescents. Oftentimes, a yellow outer ring exists along the perimeter of the patch or ring. A sign of the disease is that creeping bent grass often colonizes the center of the patch as seen here. And in this close-up, the turf within the patch is creeping bent grass too. And here too, creeping bent grass has colonized the patch. Many superintendents look at this disease as a biological control of annual bluegrass as long as the creeping bent grass can rapidly colonize the patches. However, in this case, creeping bent grass is un unable to colonize the patches, and thus we can see the, the devastating the damage that has occurred. Although symptoms appear in late summer, the pathogen Magnaporthy poe is a root pathogen that infects the root system of annual bluegrass in late spring when soil temperatures stabilize between 65 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A fungal sign of this pathogen is the presence of ectotrophic runner hyphae. The arrow in this photograph is pointing to ectotrophic runner hyphae. Ectotrophic means the outside and runner hyphae are thickened hyphal strands. Ectotrophic runner hyphae are an important sign for diagnosing this disease. As summer progresses, the roots become heavily infected and become shortened and dysfunctional. In this photograph, the roots on the left are healthy and the ones on the right are infected with Magnaporthy poeae. It is easy to see why hot dry conditions can cause death to a turf lacking a functional root system. Cultural practices for managing summer patch include providing adequate drainage, minimizing thatch accumulation, excessive thatch is often associated with increased severity of summer patch, irrigate the turf to prevent wilt or moisture stress, and fertilize to promote recovery but do not apply excessive amounts. Generally slow release nitrogen sources are preferred. There are some potential biological agents that may reduce the impact or severity of summer patch, which is an exciting area of research. Fungicides are available for the control of summer patch. They should be applied preventatively with the initial application occurring when soil temperatures are between 65 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit and one to two subsequent applications on a 21 to 28 day interval. Best results are found when sprayed in relatively high volumes of water in the range of four to five gallons per thousand square feet. This concludes the presentation on Summer Patch.